welcome to a workday vlog in my life as a security analyst. It's been a while since I vlogged specifically in this area because the only times I have been vlogging recently is when I travel to different places for work. But I think today is going to be a perfect example of a typical day in my life as a security analyst. Currently it is about 9 a.m. and this is typically when I log into work. Um, but sometimes I'll log in at 8.30 if I have something really pressing or if I have a meeting. And right now I'm actually just going through a few cybersecurity news articles. Um, a few of them are ones that my team recently shared. So I'm just kind of reading through those. And then I have my own RSS feed of different news articles that I can peruse through. It definitely depends on how busy I am and what I have during the mornings at work. So for the most part today, I don't have early morning meetings. I have one today at 11 and then another at four o'clock. But first, I'd like to thank Kingston for sponsoring today's video. Kingston is a leading global manufacturer of memory and storage solutions. Kingston Iron Key is a secure, tamper-resistant USB. The Kingston Iron Key is portable and hardware encrypted so that you know that anywhere you go, your data is secure with you. One of the most important things as cybersecurity professionals, especially nowadays, is to keep your data secure and have peace of mind knowing that your data on the go is also protected with Kingston Iron Key storage devices. Hardware encryption is one of the best ways to keep your data protected when you're doing work outside of the office or a working on your personal projects on the go, software-based encryption isn't enough to keep your data secure, which is why you should rely on a hardware-based encryption device. The Kingston Iron Key Vault Privacy 50 has business-grade security as well as AES 256-bit encryption. It ranges from 8 gigabytes to 256 gigabytes per device. Kingston Iron Key supports a multi-password option with complex or passphrase modes and works against brute force password attacks and is the more secure alternative to using the internet and cloud services to safeguard your data. This increases the security of the data in your Kingston Iron Key. So personally, as someone who works a full-time job as well as being a part-time YouTuber, I think one of the most important things is keeping my data secure as well as accessible when I need it. And that is why I know I can rely on Kingston Iron Key to keep my data secure while I'm working on the go or working from home. Personally, as a YouTuber, I have a lot of data and the best way that I've noticed to keep my data accessible is using hardware Personally, I'm someone who loves to take my data with me. For example, a few weeks ago, we went on a trip to the Smoky Mountains and I'm someone who loves to keep all of my portable storage devices on me at all times, just in case I need them or just in case I'm recording content and my SD cards run out of memory. And of course, having the reassurance that your data is going to be secure and accessible when you need it is one of the best benefits of the Kingston Iron Key series. So if you're interested in picking up your own Kingston Iron Key or learning more about their products, you can check out the link in my description. I would definitely recommend their products especially if you're looking for secure hardware encrypted products to secure your data. Thank you so much to Kingston for sponsoring today's video and let's get back to the rest of the vlog. typical breakfast of one egg. Another thing that has been on my mind lately is just the fact that the year is coming to a close and it kind of just blows my mind how fast time is going and I've hit the point in my life where sometimes I'm excited for, you know, for time to go by and experiencing a bunch of different things and working on different projects at work. And then another part of me is a bit nervous that time is moving so fast and I want it to slow down. So it's definitely a conflicting thought that I have a few times a week actually at this point but it's simply towards the end of the year and I think that is why but tonight we are going to get dinner with some family and we're gonna get hot pot so I'm very excited it's been a while since I've had hot pot and I have been trying to eat at least 100 grams of protein a day as part of my workout slash health plan that I've recently uncovered for myself and then typically in terms of work for the mornings I try to have my head down work in the mornings because those are my most productive hours so that means going through any security tickets that I have open from the last few days or the last few weeks I also have some project work for for example, one of the projects I was recently working on actually is coming to a close. So it's very exciting, but it's also a little bit overwhelming because there's a lot going on, but I'm very excited to kind of drive that towards the end phases. And today I'm going to be sharing some of the results or reports from that project to my team. So yeah, that is going to be a fun time. And then part of my job is also just my own professional development. So my team actually does weekly professional development calls where we go over currently reverse engineering skills and tools and I'm going through the basics of assembly code right now and I, as someone who has never learned C or any low level programming languages, this is very new to me and I've never learned about registers or memory or flags and heaps and stacks 
to this extent um so i'm very excited to kind of delve into that a little bit we'd basically do some self-study and activities on our own and then we go and discuss it as a team with any questions or any follow-ups or interesting things that we find so it's really interesting because i get to learn a lot from my teammates as well as just covering one of my goals of learning reverse engineering skills which is actually one of my 2022 goals so i'm excited to be actually tackling that before the end of the year obviously i'm not going to be a reverse engineering SME in any way, but I do think that it's a really good place to start. All right, so one thing that I've been really proud of is specifically growing my plants. So I actually have these lovely plants. There's three of them and two of them, the leafy ones are from my cousin and she is a huge plant mom but this one i believe it's the pothos a pothos plant she is thriving she's doing great all right so a little bit of a workday update um i did go through my tickets that i have and followed up with everything that I need to follow up on so that was nice so usually for my team Fridays are a little bit slower than the rest of the week but obviously depends on where we are in the quarter but this week has been very very busy for my team so I'm definitely thankful that it's slowing down a little bit for the end of the week and the weekend so overall today I'm going to get done all the things that I had on my to-do list that I haven't been able to get done because of all the other tickets and different things that come up throughout the week and going back to the earlier conversation about just life in general and how time is flying by and the year is ending and now that i've hit the end of the year i find myself kind of wondering what my goals are for next year and just planning for the upcoming months the upcoming quarters but a part of me knows i want to slow down and also just digest the life of every day and fun fact that is probably going to be one of my goals for next year hi guys i'm currently eating lunch and it is some um, leftover chicken tenders from yesterday so not the most healthy, but very Friday-esque. Also, the holiday vibes from this plate. <laughs> It is a little bit later in the afternoon. Today was pretty late in terms of meetings at our most Fridays, honestly. So I had a meeting right before lunch and my last meeting of the day is actually at four o'clock today. So a bit of a late meeting on a Friday, but this one, like I mentioned before, is my team meeting for professional development. So we're just gonna be going over the stuff that we learned for the week. And we all have a specific set content that we're reading. And after that, we are going to dinner. We're gonna get hot pot. I'm very, very excited for that. And I also recently ordered a few things for the winter. So let me just show you guys what I got. All right, so first things first, I got these earmuffs. Oops, it's been a while since I've had earmuffs since, since maybe high school, honestly. But it's these super fluffy earmuffs that are literally the size of my hand. And inside looks like this, very cozy, but it's a little bit big on my head. I wonder if they're adjustable. And then I also got, I believe this is a sweater. So I just got this white, not really a sweater, but it's like a white long sleeve shirt, I guess. I probably would wear these two together since they're kind of like the same shade of cream slash white. Yeah, that is my show and tell of the day. All in all though, I did get most of the work that I have to get done for today already done, which is really nice. I'm also digging through some vulnerability reports as well as some security documentation. A lot of this is just for my personal learning and in terms of vulnerability management, there are different alerts that I get on a regular basis. But yeah, even though I already read everything for this week, I'm just gonna review some of my notes. I did cover this over the span of a week. So after that, I'll meet up with my team and discuss, and then we're going to be off to dinner. This is a pretty typical Friday for me. Okay, so this is the part-time YouTuber part of my day that I want to show you guys for my work day. So I did kind of update my setup a little bit for filming. Um, usually you guys only see, I believe, up to about this area of space. So don't mind the messy wires and stuff. Um, I've been meaning to get some tape to tape those down at least behind the behind the shelving but i haven't gotten to that yet but yeah i try to find some decor that would look interesting in the background um these are some books that i like as well as some books that luca likes this is what it looks like plugged in i have one i basically got this little usb thing in the background 
and that is what all four light components are connected to so it all turns on when i plug in one plug which is really convenient except the tree it's plugged in but um the tree i have to turn on i have to click the power button to actually get it to turn on but this area is probably one of my favorite and then we have these two very nice little neon lights so in terms of the logistics of my actual filming youtube videos and editing and juggling all of that with my full-time job that is definitely something that i still am kind of fine-tuning to this day i don't think you'll ever get perfect at it because work gets busy life gets busy you travel you go on a trip and your whole schedule just kind of goes haywire so personally for me i like to bulk batch my work so basically if i'm filming a video then i'll try to film like two or three videos at once in one sitting so i don't have to context switch over and over again and if i'm editing a video normally i probably won't be editing more than one video at a time because editing just takes a very long time it depends on the type of video for example if it's a vlog if it's informational which takes me on average probably about three hours sometimes it can take longer i think the longest video that i've edited was probably eight or nine hours and that was a very very long video so or not even a very long video sometimes it's just extra complexity where i'm adding different screenshots or doing a screen share or doing a voiceover and those all take extra time but overall i'm really grateful that i get to spend some of my time working my 9 to 5 and then some of my time working on youtube stuff because it kind of gives me that well-rounded lifestyle that i'm looking for or specifically well-rounded things to work on on the technical side as well as on the creative side and if you guys have any questions specifically about how I manage my YouTube channel and my full-time job or anything in that realm, I would love to answer them in the comments below. I also made videos recently on my second channel that talk more about my YouTube side of things as well as growing my YouTube channel and personal finances of it. So I'll link my second channel down in the description if you want to check that out. <music> got back from hot pot it was really good dinner i am so full because it was a hot pot buffet i personally prefer it because it has really good vegetables and tofu specifically since that's the main thing that i get at hot pot but yeah as you can tell i also wash my hair already i'm basically ready for bed and that is basically the extent of my full work day including my full-time nine to five job as a security analyst and as a part-time youtuber so hopefully this video gave you guys some insight into what a typical day for me looks like from beginning to end all right so that's it for this video let me know if you guys have any questions in the comments below and also don't forget to check out kingston who is sponsoring today's video and i highly highly recommend for anyone who is looking for that extra layer of protection for their data especially when you're on the go and working from various different places like i am it honestly is a lifesaver and again thank you guys so much for watching if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and subscribe and turn on post notifications i post videos every wednesdays and sundays at 12 p.m and hopefully i'll see you guys in my next video bye bye